Hello everyone, I'm Abhita Thomas. I work as a scientific manager in Tree of Life project in Welcome Sangor Institute UK. And I'm here to talk about the development and implementation of sample tracking software to support the deno uh, genome data generation. So Tree of Life project is an uh, ambitious project where which we have embarked on. It's a huge voyage of discovery together with our partners. And this study aims to sequence the genomes of around 70,000 animals, plants, fungi, and protist species that are found in Britain and Ireland. And these genome will in turn contribute to the global effort to sequence the genome, uh, genomes of all species of our planet. Our operation here is very much like an engine, and the fuel that runs the engine is definitely the samples that has been provided by our Tree of Life partners. And the power output is the high quality genomic um, data that we produced. And even if we have standardized method of working, we also have to improve the engine so that we can accelerate towards the goal that we have, that we have made for Tree of Life project. So currently we are processing around 1000 samples to contribute significantly to the global genome knowledge base. And so this requires us to have a high level sample, pre uh, sample throughput combined with upscaling of the targeted species, which, which essentially requires us to invest enormously in the areas of sample tracking and data management. So this was uh, approached with a design and we implemented two systems for it, which is essentially the sample tracking system or STS and the electro and electronic lab notebook, ELN from Benchling. And the reasons why we needed a robust system in place is because uh, we we had more, uh, we could improve the quality and have more reliable results along with a tight timeliness of processing samples in our labs to improve the ownership of the data and the work that has been done in the labs. Also to improve the agility of the Tree of Life lab. Um, apart from that, to reduce the risk of, um, reduce the risk through increased stability and functionality and ease of application of uh, management and most importantly it was it helped us to decommission various numerous sheets and ancillary spreadsheets utilized by our R&D lab so what is sts sts is a system and a system conceived and built for uh, sample tracking provide insight of the samples journey through our pipeline it tracks the sample right from the collectors through logistics and shipping, compliance up until the submission of the sample for sequencing, followed by the data completion information. It also helps us to uh, select, track, and monitor the progress the sample makes in our laboratory as well. So this is a snapshot of sample tracking system. And once the sample is onboarded, the sample gets the uh, release to lab status. And once it's released, it helps us, it gets processed for various platforms, uh, could be high c DNA extraction, PacBio submission, RNA extraction, and RNA-seq submission. So it, depending upon what process the sample is required, uh, it, it gets progressed and it is fed back to SDS where the project managers can track the sample uh, progress. So within the laboratory itself, the principal scientific need to implement a system was to support the sample through our established routine processes to, to have an application where we can have a, a data transparency, where we can pro monitor the progress of the samples, not just us people in the uh, in the uh, lab, as well as people who are monitoring the sample. Uh, so STS essentially help us to have a high level tracking uh, towards data completion and it also have a special function which enables us to let the sample uh, collector know that a recollection is required. Uh, so coming to the benchling part or the electronic uh, lab notebook part, there was within the lab, there was a principal need to implement a customized uh, ELN so that we can monitor the samples which is getting progressed in the lab, as well as to have more flexibility of the processes, the lab processes that is being going on with 
uh, enabled, which also enabled us to have a better transparency. So these were the reasons why we had to implement a customized ELN. And how we launched uh, the uh, the implementation, not launch, sorry, the implementation of the ELN was done with, um, it was definitely a teamwork. It was done by, it, it used, it made use of the expertise and collaboration of the Tree of Life Core Lab, uh, Tree of Life enabling platforms, as well as a team working from Benchling to make this work. So ELN enables the Tree of Life Core Lab to organize a catalog, organize the samples in a catalog, manage complex um, workflows, record the work in a standardized notebook templates with consistent data entry and also supports the integration uh, via AP APIs to between different systems. And we had scientists work around approximately 19 hours per week. Uh, and they avoided uh, avoid, they avoided tasks that can be paused for that particular time and those time were implemented or those resources were put into establishing or uh, making the ELN more customized to the lab processes that has been done here. So between the ELN and STS, there are bespoke bi-directional APIs. Uh, the SDA, STS to ELN, there's uh, samples that are, the null samples that are uh, onboarded gets exported to ELN and we have a top-up management workflow which allows uh, the e STS to let us know, the ELN know that there are samples which requires a top-up or resubmission. And similarly, there is an API that talks back to STS from ELN which, which caps captures the key data of each samples and uh, it also obtains the sequencing statuses and metadata. This also enables us to have, uh, to do the reporting via Tableau and we have already integrated uh, barcode scanner, which definitely was a, a game changer for us. Barcode scanner where we can uh, scan each samples avoiding the manual error. So the key features of uh, Benchling are a registry where the, all the samples that is all the null samples that has been exported to STS are arranged in a particular category, and we can go get all these samples from the registry on Benchling, followed by creating a work list. Uh, so work list is essentially um, after the samples are registered, the next step is to create a work list and assigning the samples to a particular lab personnel. And this feature allows the user to more seamlessly conduct bulk action or how do a perform uh, perform a, a laboratory process with a, on a set of samples or tubes or plates. So this samples can be divided with, by a person or by process. Uh, through a work list. So once the samples are assigned, the user uses the surface book that has been provided in the lab to execute the work that has been assigned. A notebook template uh, is a mechanism to complete the workflow and record the task for a bulk set of samples. The next feature would be the workflows. It is a process management tool that integrates with the lab automation and the internal systems to standardize the task ful fulfillment processes. It helps in assigning a bulk task to multiple users at the same time. Followed by uh, the results, the results are recorded in a consistent method with the structure table that allows you to capture the experimental or the essay data in the notebook entry. So this, the next phase of our systems would be in no particular order would be to, to improve and adapt our processes uh, or any change in the processes and integrate more uh, lab equipments, uh, improve the functionalities and definitely integrate more APIs so that there, there's more functionality between different systems within different teams. Thank you. Um, I'm happy to take any questions now.